back to bird keen filled in those underwater plots with that dredge material and increased the size from the, uh, bird key from the original 12 acres that it was to the just over 200 acres that it is today. And as people started to populate bird key, they were promised that they would see lots of marine life from their backyard, including dolphins, manatees, sea turtles, birds, fish, etc. People actually started to notice a really big decline in the sea life, and no one could really figure out why that was happening. So they called in a group of scientists to figure out what was going on, and those scientists figured out that that dredge material used to fill in those underwater plots was actually covering up those vital seagrass beds I was telling you about earlier. Without the seagrass beds, there's no food for the manatees, as well as no hiding places for the yellow fish, the birds, and the dolphins like to eat. So therefore, there's just a big drop in the food chain altogether. So in order to fix that problem, again, that's when the new law came out called the Clean Water Act of 1972, and that regulated the dredge and fill projects as well as the building of both docks, jetties, and seawalls. And since then, our seagrass population here has made a recovery. It's at about 25% is what it was back in the 60s. 